Alright, hello everyone, this is Gems, and today I will be reviewing a mock of mine, which is a somewhat close to life-size M1A1 Thompson, a uh, fully automatic rifle. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of ammo scattered everywhere, which is really just a cone piece and a cylinder piece attached together. I have a habit of rolling away, so that's a problem. So they were a pain to keep on the table, but... This is the weapon itself, it's not loaded, the magazine isn't in. It does have a working slide, it does not dispense these Lego rounds by any means, but you can use the slide. It's got a trigger that does not work. The iron sights are fairly standard. This one was made with this element that generally goes around a minifigure's neck if you want to make a custom backpack or something. And then the front iron sight is also fairly simple. And there's the grip. And then I, uh, I had to really hunt these pieces down to make the, the back grip. And I think it actually turned out okay. So here is the magazine. It's got a round already loaded. Don't roll away. Alright, so there's a round already in there. It is actually attached to the gun by just two studs, which is more than enough. One moment. So the gun's actually pretty small, so I don't suppose it's too close to life size. But, you know, it covers the basics and it can be held. Now I understand I got the proportions all wrong. The stock should be longer and this body should be way shorter. But the problem is these are too steep for the stock. I might redo this someday and shorten this to about here and then just use plates for the stock. So, it's, so the slope is less gradual. Here's the scale of a of the gun to a minifigure. I'll just take the Thompson itself and compare those two. So yeah, pretty big difference. Let's round all this ammo up and at that I think I will be signing off. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, this is Jim signing off. Peace out.